Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 5 video in VCP 7 data center virtualization 2020 and in this video we are going to see how to join VMware vCenter server to VCSA uh, or VCSA to Active Directory domain. So why we need to join server uh, vCenter server in Active Directory domain? So the answer is uh, since uh, uh, the uh, you have Active Directory infrastructure in your organization, which may be maybe you having Active Directory account to log into your laptop or desktop, and maybe that uh, same Active Directory account is linked with the, your Office 365 or email and anything. So so you should have a, a single account which which allow you to log in at uh, on a multiple infrastructure like uh, like uh, like on a servers or a vCenter server or like a Windows server. So you should have one account and you can allow uh, that account to uh, to log into all the, your infrastructure so same account if you want to use your windows account which you use to log into windows server or your laptop or desktop and you want to allow that user account to log in uh, and authenticate against the vcenter server and you want to use the same uh, gives an, any permission requested permission on vcenter infra so definitely you need to join your vcenter server to Active Directory domain. So in this video, basically we are going to uh, have a Active Directory which we have deployed in last few videos, and we have deployed and uh, done the post configuration task for vCenter server in last videos also. So in this video, I'm going to focus just on joining the vCenter server to Active Directory domain. So process is going to be a very simple. So you must need an Active Directory server pre-install and running at your infrastructure. So we got one e uh, vCent uh, one vCenter server and one Active Directory server here. So my Active Directory server is Win2K19 DC01, and this is my domain labsandson.com, and this is running on Windows Server 2019. So if you want to check out, this is my Active Directory and DNS server, and if I go to local. You can see this is joined in my domain. Uh, this is my, my domain controller Win2K19 DC01 and the domain name you can see labsensor.com. And the second machine is our vCenter server itself, which we have, which is basically appliance vCenter server 7 appliance, which we have deployed and configured in last video. So this is INVCSS01 and we are going to join this uh, vCenter server in this labsensor.com domain. So to allow to join us, I, I have logged into my vCenter server through the local administrator account. So if if you see, I have a, a logged in with the local account, local vSphere account um, uh, on the vCenter server. So we don't have any other account currently on this machine uh, vCenter server. So if I go here on menu click on menu and next go to administration and once you go to administrator administration you will see here users and group and in this you will see local OS and vSphere only uh, since our active directory is not yet connected or joined this vCenter is not yet joined so go to configuration and if you go here active directory domain you will see the domain is a uh, the FQDN is having the labsend.com and uh, the node is uh, not joined to Active Directory. So let's click on join to AD and then you need to point to, to domain which is my domain is labshandson.com and you, you can put the organization you need also uh, uh, like on which OU you want to put this machine uh, uh, else uh, you can leave it blank so it's go with the default and you can you need to type the credential to join this machine in domain so administrator I'm going to use and the password for administrator this is going to be a domain administrator so administrator account or the at least the account which have um, permission to join computer in a um, active directory so click on join so now you can see the node has joined the Active Directory successfully reboot the node to apply the changes so we need to reboot this um, node so if you see here we got the options to leave leave domain means this machine is joined in domain but we it will not take effect un until we reboot this machine so I'm going to reboot the uh, vCenter server so I'm going to log into the 
vCenter appliance management console so 54A2 and I'm going to put my root credential here so you must need to reboot the machine after joining in active directory so I'm going to do the same oops maybe wrong password so now I can go ahead in action and reboot so it will ask you system reboot yes so now the machine is going to reboot and it will take some time and if I log into my ESXi01 which having the this vCenter running so you will see this vCenter server is going to reboot basically so you can see the machine is getting reboot so once the machine is rebooted we will log in again and we will verify uh, and we will try to add the domain accounts to the vCenter server so since this is taking time to reboot let's go in active directory server and create some group and users so on active directory server I'm on active directory server and go to tools and then active directory users and computers so here so if you go to LHO I'm going to create one group called mm, group and name it like VCSA hyphen admin so uh, I'm going to uh, whatever member of this group is going to have a administrator rights on vCenter so I'm going to just click on OK and then I'm going to add myself in this group so I will get the administrator uh, access administrator access on vcenter server so click apply ok so this is ready we will add this account in vcenter server and will give it uh, make it to the uh, administration administrator in a global configurations also so if I go on now in the default computer uh, OU, you, you can see this is joined in domain and if I go here you will see this description and this is going to be lab sense on which is our uh, vCenter server which is running here on ESXi which we have rebooted and so so we can verify uh, this if, if you got this uh, um, basically computer object in your AD means your uh, computer account uh, vCenter server is successfully met with the domain so this is good and if you want to verify in more details what you can do just go and enable advanced feature and once you go here you will see here double click on it and go to attribute and you will see here all other details like last login when it was last login so you can see the uh, this is the active server or not so uh, th this is the way some way to verify your vcenter server having connectivity with the active directory or not so this is good so we have validated that and the server is rebooted let's try to log in on a vcenter server so it's maybe going to take some time since you see here http status all the services is not started successfully so let's log into appliance management console and verify so you can see the overall health status is okay but a single sign on is status is unknown that's why we are unable to log in so it's going to take few minutes to get the single sign on uh, up and r are in a running state and then we will able to log into vcenter server so i'm going to wait for some time here few it's, it's maybe going to take less than two or three minutes so now we got single sign on status running so we should try now and yes we got the login screen I guess so now I'm going to log in with the administrator at vSphere.local and now if you see here we can add the active directory integra uh, integrated windows authentication to the vcenter server so just go ahead and click on add so now you will see the labs and so on is added as a identity source so this is good and now if I go here basically 
if you want to add the you can see all the like computers accounts you uh, computer accounts and users account everything is now fetched from the active directory so this is good and now we can go ahead and add our account to the vCenter server as a permission so the first thing you can go ahead and add your account your main account which is you want to have access on everywhere in vCenter server like our VCSA admins you can go ahead and add in global permission so it will get access to everywhere like these account like administrators administrators these group will get uh, users and groups will get access to everywhere so I'm going to click on add and from the domain I'm going to select labs and so on and I'm going to select VCSA if you type you will see VCSA admins just give it and what type of role so definitely this is going to be administrator so since this is admin I'm going to give it administrator and propagate to children's means it's going to um, get access on each and every object which is available in this vCenter so go ahead and click OK so once you are done with this if you go to host and clusters and you go to uh, basically you can go and verify from a permissions you can see this is uh, got added VCSA hyphen admin and it's got the global admin global level permission and the role is administrator so now the users which is part of VCSA admin should be access this uh, vCenter server as an administrator so I'm going to log in with now my account and we'll see how it's work so log out from this admins and build administrator account from the vCenter now it's time to log in with my account so labs hands on vikas and I'm going to type my credential here so now you can see I am able to log in to the vCenter server so this is good and even if I want to do some administration administration task let's verify so if I go here and try to like leave the active directory so you can see if you go to configuration you will not have access to the configuration single sign on part else you will see you will have access to everywhere like if you want to add or create any role and if you want to remove any role or uh, delete anything definitely you can delete so you are going to have access to uh, administrator level on a vCenter server itself so this is good so now we have successfully logged in with the uh, Vikas uh, which is domain account and even if you go you can have access to reboot the host or restart the host everything you can do so so this is about all about how to uh, how to join v v VMware vCenter server or VCSA to Active Directory domain and how to uh, um, add the administrator account also uh, through the domain account so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye